Welcome back to my channel where we are all angels. To become one of Cherisee's angels, subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification updates on my lifestyle, my beauty, my passion for fashion, and of course more. Stay tuned and follow all of my social media accounts in the description box below and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share and give a big thumbs up to show your love and support. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy my channel. So without further ado, Let's get into it. Cheers. Welcome back and what's the do? Um, right now this is going to be a get ready with me story time because I gotta get some shit off my chest. That's why I get some shit off my chest. <laughs> okay, I'm done. But um yeah, you guys, this is just gonna be like a little quick story time where I get ready. Because I met, I actually did a makeup video and told this story, but that just turned out really trash. <laughs> so I was like, cut it, <laughs> gotta go back. Um, but before I get started right now, I just got out the shower and I'm moisturizing as you already know. I already did my bottom half, so y'all gonna be seeing me bending over and looking at the blank wall and all that extra. So, I'm about to go in, go in with my favorite coconut oil, fatty oil. At the top, it's getting real toasty in here because I turned my straightener on because I need to get, fix my hair. I'm getting hot and I just got out the shower. I hate that. But, um, so yeah. Did I say my 24th or my 23rd birthday? I don't think I said it until just now. But um, we're gonna go down memory lane. And we're gonna start with my 23rd birthday. And you know, in the comments, if you want my 24th birthday, then just pass. And today is May 20, May 24th on a Monday. What time is it? 11.47, It's about to be 12 o'clock, so good morning. And in Cam Cam Mimi, good afternoon. But um, it's really getting hot. Let me turn this off. It's hot enough now, but it's just getting too hot in here. So, let's start out on my 23rd birthday. Going on two years now. Um, it was horrible. Let's just say that. I haven't been surrounded around anybody real enough to celebrate with and I didn't have any friends still don't realizing that now whoever you've seen in my past videos that's probably going to be their first and last time appearing because I just can't put up with the fake shit and the fake love it's either you love me or you hate me but don't hate me you could dislike me you ain't gotta hate me what you gotta be a hater for but um so yeah I got hella haters, no friends, no real people surrounded around me. And it gets very lonely at times, especially on my birthday when you wanna just celebrate your life, making it to another year. God getting you through your storm. And people just don't understand that. So that's why my 25th birthday, I will be celebrating by myself. Cause what the fuck will I celebrate with other people for? That's not even in my life, it don't make no sense. So my 23rd birthday, um, I ended up meeting this girl that I was working with. We, we became really cool. Um, and we was talking about planning a trip to California, which don't do that <laughs> with somebody you just met, male or female. It's just not smart. It doesn't like, why would you go out of town with somebody you don't know? It don't make no sense. So we're really like planning this trip like to go out of town for my birthday and it's gonna be a business trip for her 
Okay. So it was a business trip for her, and it was my birthday. And um, we just could not get it right. We was arguing. We just could not find the, the right place for us. We was just on two completely different pages. It was not working, like, at all. To the point where I snapped. And I really try to refrain from that because a motherfucker will show you their true colors in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Take it for what it is. It's nothing more, nothing less. And so I was really trying to hold that shit in because I'm like, oh my God, this girl about to see the real side of me. I don't want her to see. And I snapped and I was like, yeah, it's a wrap. I'm done. I'm not even putting the rest of my energy into this because we had, I was mad because we had already pay for our airplane tickets but we could not figure out where we wanted to stay i wanted to stay in a hotel she wanted or a rented out airbnb she wanted to stay in a like an airbnb where you staying with the people like you rent out a room and not the house fuck no i'm not on that shit what the fuck do this shit look like i'd rather get in a hotel i do not be around people and they drink no nah, that's not me no not doing it and so I was like, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'd rather stay with my family members than to stay with some strangers. So we just couldn't agree on that. You know what I'm saying? We can't, you know, that's in the past now, but I'm just giving y'all this story. And well, that part is in the past now. I don't care about that. Because I still went to California because mind you, I paid for my ticket. Just didn't have nowhere to stay. Didn't have nobody to go with because we had just gotten to and I was like, all right, that's that's the dub. So um, my, um <sighs> I ended up reaching out to my auntie, my aunt Cece, that live in California, like I was telling you. And um and you know, I explained the situation, what happened, and she was like, Y'all could just come over here. And yada yada and i'm like we passed that we passed y'all it's me now at this point like it's just me and so her and my cousin took me in which was very sweet and kind but it was pathetic it was fucking pathetic and sorry and so it was really like it was like a bittersweet trip like they took me in but that was it you know what i'm saying like i'm the only one who kept in contact no don't nobody keep in contact with me and if they do, it's because they want something from me in Kansas City. So that's why I just, mm, you telling me about making no money, bringing it to the table, but you're not taking nothing from my table. No, go build your own. And that's just period, like, what the fuck? So that ended up becoming the new plan. I was gonna travel for the first time by myself on a plane for my 23rd birthday. It's supposed to be my balling year. I was trying to do it big. Couldn't even do it by myself. I'm always by myself. It's fucking annoying. Um, it's so annoying, especially when you like don't have the real luxury to just do whatever, whenever, whatever. And not with whoever, cause I'm be by myself all the time. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. But, um, that's the annoying part. So, had a meltdown because I'm like, damn, I really ain't got nobody. It sucks. But then, you know, God came through, made it bittersweet when I went to California by myself. It was a really nice experience to travel on my own and learn how to, you know, show myself the ropes with that one. And that was right before, like, the COVID shot. Now, I don't know how to travel on my own with this COVID shit because that's a whole nother story that we y'all can get into because <laughs> I don't know nothing about it but um yeah I'm about to go on with my coconut oil moisturizing cream and um it was just really like terrible so it was nice I landed in California that's right on the airplane I love when I got on the airplane um I was seated next to only one girl and she was young, she was traveling on her own to go meet up with her friends, which is so dope. Like, I was like, I wish I had that. Um, to go meet up with her friends. And 
it was just us. So, you know, it's a three sitter and we had, it was the uh, empty seat between us. It worked out so perfect on the way there. And she was just like, she was against the, she was against the window and I was at, on the aisle. And either or, I don't like the middle. I like either the window or the aisle. You know what I'm saying? So I can look out the window and mind my business or I'm gonna be in the aisle like ready to jet. So, but I cannot be stuck in the middle. Can't do it. It's really the aisle. Like I have to be the, I have to, I, ha I really have to be to the left of everything. I don't know what it is, but like on roller coasters, I have to be on the left side. Maybe because that's like the driver's seat. <laughs> I gotta be in control. I gotta feel like I'm in control. Like nothing is going to sabotage this ride while I'm on it because I'm in the left seat. <laughs> it might be a real thing for me. So, who knows? <laughs> but, um, God, I got ADHD. Back to my story. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, I was in the left seat, in the aisle seat. She was in the window seat, and that made me so happy because she was chilling on the window, and I got to sleep in the middle seat because my neck was that thick that hurt my neck, but it was still kind of comfortable. So it was better than somebody sitting there. So that was really cool. Then we landed, you know. Um, see, that's what I'm saying. I guess I could drive on my own meet random people random people are nice some strangers are nicer than the people around you i swear to god they realer than the people around you <sighs> keep it blunt keep it pushing that's it they ain't worried about none of the semantics but um so anywho land we get there first thing we do you know what i'm saying first thing i do is go in and out burger you know what i'm saying because that's just that's what you just that's just what you do that's just what you do the first thing I wanted to do was go to the shop, but it was with my auntie, y'all. So that's just what I did. I went to in and out Got some cheese on my fries, and I never do that again, because that shit nasty. They put a fucking American slice of cheese on your shit. I'm thinking, I'm about to get some cheddar cheese, like some like nacho cheese on my fries. They put a fucking slice of cheese and melted that shit. Like in and out you nasty for that. in and out really nasty, period. That was my second time having it. I didn't like it the first time because they fries taste like cardboard. Still do. I tried it again. They still do. Put the cheese on it to like spice it. You know, jazz it up a little. Add a little razzle dazzle. Shit nasty as fuck. Never again. Should have went to Roscoe's Chicken. But they say that shit nasty too. That's why I ain't went. Cause they say it's nasty. It's not. It's not even worth the hype. And I like lemon pepper chicken anyway. So, but I do love chicken and waffles. So I'm still probably gonna have to make that move, but whatever. Um, I'm just so cool. Oh, California. Well, not California. Y'all have always wanted to live in Cal California. It's really always been a dream of mine. But just, you know, knowing everything about it. I don't know about LA. I don't know about LA. I dirty as hell. I, I just can't deal with that shit. Dirty as fuck. And it was even nastier this time. That's why I had that that mindset because it was literally piles of trash bags under bridges. Like y'all let y'all's community just pile trash bags and pick them up once a week. That's that's nasty. I mean, I'm glad y'all found a little order to it, but that's really nasty. Like if you can't buy a big dumpster for the motherfuckers to throw it in there then what are you doing like all that money california got and it's that dirty it's that dirty where is y'all community workers because i'm like community service workers because i don't what's going on i know y'all be lit out there what's what's going on where the look where the kid where the bad kids at they're supposed to be on the side of the highways cleaning that shit up i just want to know what is y'all doing out there um so yeah went to in and out burger and this is, hmm, could me, I was trying to do everything the first night. I feel like you're never supposed to go out of town and not come in right the first night. I don't want to fucking have this boring ass. I just got here. I'm excited. I want to, I want to explore. I want to put in, I want to put in as much as I can with the time I got till night. I don't even want to go to sleep. I don't want to go to sleep. Do it look like I want to go to sleep? So it was really like era because I'm trying to be on 
this visitor vacation schedule with family members who are on a regular schedule. So, you know what I'm saying? Working a regular job, you know? And they like, yeah, nah, we not, they are everybody telling me you're not gonna be able to do much because of traffic. You're not gonna be able to do much because of traffic. I don't give a fuck about that traffic, okay? Like, I stay in traffic in Kansas. Like, it's traffic everywhere you go. I'm tired of people from California talking about that traffic. I know it's bad. They're like, if you if you was out there, you would know. If you was up there, you would know. I know. I was out there. I know. I know how bad it is, but guess what? I'm a driver. I can drive. So, I will maneuver through all that shit. I have, I have ways. If there's a will, there's a way. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Traffic should not be the excuses to why I can't have fun on the first night I'm here. But it was cool. It was cool. I chilled and just sleep. I was whack. So, next day, I think I'm on Venice Beach for my second time. Cut, never again. I mean, it's fucking dirty out there and it smells like piss. I didn't come, I didn't go through all this to travel out here to have this little peaceful stroll on this border wall and it smells like piss. Like I know there's people out there trying to make a dream. I know there's homeless people out there. I know there's people out there working, making money, cooking, can't even enjoy the, the smell of the food because it smells like piss. Like do y'all not have a power wash? Is nobody power washing the border wall, the sidewalk, cleaning it? You got all these fucking tourists coming out here thinking that this is the limelight of California because it's LA and it's Hollywood. And it's really Hollywood, like on Venice Beach. <laughs> I swear to God, really Atlanta is Hollywood, but um, because that's where everybody is at right now. That is literally the Hollywood. But um, yeah, somebody get a crew member out there to clean that shit the fuck up because that shit nasty. Don't nobody want to smell homeless people piss on a sidewalk when they're trying to walk the border and eat a fucking churro. Because that's what I was trying to do and I couldn't do it. So, yeah. Just note that for whoever is the committee of that shit. Because it's just foul play. Foul play. Now I'm going in with my raw sugar. Let me smell good. And, but I had a good time. Because I went to the beach. I said, get me far away from this border walk. Went to the beach. Took some pictures, this random lady took some pictures of me, beautiful pictures. I was afraid she was gonna drop my phone. She didn't, she came through with the pictures. And I was like, all right, period, I look like I'm lit. It was lit though, like, oh my God. I can't remember the last time I've been in the ocean because just being right there, when you walk in, it's like, people would not, was not believing me. Every time I looked in the water, I said, yo, it's, I'm like, it's something under my feet. And they like, don't do that. I'm like, no, you don't see this fish? Like you don't have to be in the deep end to see all these creatures moving around under you. Like I'm walking and they just moving under my feet. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I said, let me take my pictures and get out of here. Cause it, mind you, my birthday's in October. So it wasn't even like that warm, but it was still warm. Like it was warmer than like going to California in December. Cause that was the first time I went to California. It was uh, for Christmas a couple of years back, terrible trip. Terrible trip, drove 24 hours with my mother, my stepfather, my brother, and his girlfriend. So just think about that. Fucking terrible. Crammed in the back seat of a van with everybody's luggage. Because I'm the fucking stepchild. Literally, I get treated like the stepchild everywhere with everybody. Like, what the fuck? Where my dad fairy? Cause get me the fuck out of here. Get me the fuck out of here. Seriously. Okay, let me stop cussing. But, um, so yeah, you guys, I was on the beach. Got a manganado. Mangado. I don't know how to say that. But I got it, and it was so good. Got some wings at the California Sidewalk Cafe. That was cool. I'm surprised I remember that. That was cool. Um, <laughs> Dang, I didn't really wrap it last night. I was so tired, but I was like, let me make sure I put all the, the stuff on it. So anyhow, I did the boardwalk. 
Um, how to fix these edges like ASAP Rocky. Um, the boardwalk was nice because I got to spend quality time with my auntie. But I was really like trying to act like a hood rat on my birthday in Kelly. I just could not do that. Um, just could not do it. But, um, after that, I forgot what else we did. Um, I think I just remember going to the club. Oh, we, um, Yo, I'm so difficult. I will never do this shit again. Don't be cheap when you go out of town. Um, we went to the Grove to get something to eat. My phone was dying. Everything was fucking expensive at the Grove. I didn't know where I was at when she took me there. I'm like, until I seen a, like a semi-celebrity and I was like, oh, okay. This is where I'm at. And now that's where everybody be at. <sighs> So all the restaurants we was going to was expensive. And then we was like, let's just go to the Cheesecake Factory. And then they had this long ass fucking line. And um, when I was there, I seen Amina Butterfly. But I wanted to say something, but then my phone was dying. I was running from the Cheesecake Factory to Apple, trying to charge my phone, just like running around. And Um, it would have been pointless. It, and then it would have, I was like, I want to get a picture with somebody. But then I was like, nah, fuck no. I'm not tripping on people like that. And then when I seen the attitude she had, I was like, yeah, nah, I'm cool. I'm really not tripping on people like that. Because I just don't be, I really don't be faced by y'all celebrities. Like, y'all are regular people. <laughs> y'all are regular people in my eyes. Believe that. And... I just in a different tax bracket period i know that i know what's up y'all in a different tax bracket y'all give money but y'all are regular people and with regular people come they regular fucking attitudes and bitch ain't got time for that anybody got time for that can't idolize nobody with i know i got attitude but i don't give a fuck which i got reasons what's your reason you got three kids you should be happy What's your reason? Some people can't even have kids. So, a good kid. Okay, is that an excuse or is that a blessing? I don't be understanding females when they do that shit. Is it an excuse or is it a blessing? Because, not that I just did that. I know it did turn green. That's really annoying. We didn't, um, we didn't even stay at the Cheesecake Factory. Child, it was really sad. <laughs> I think I had made her so mad. We, she was just ready to go. And she, we ended up getting KFC. Cause I was just, I'm a Libra. I'm fucking indecisive. Like, and then you take me to the groove and I'm like, a, like a tourist. Like I want to see everything. I'm not even thinking about food, but I am hungry. <laughs> and then everything was closing. All the food that I really wanted was closing. So. I have to watch this.
Um, so anyhow, yeah, we ended up getting some eat going home and calling that a night. And then I think I went to the club the next day or that night got dressed like really fast because they hit me like last minute. So I had to get dressed really fast, barely even do my makeup. And we went to downtown Los Angeles and went to the club. Um, I can't remember what, remember, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember what club, but I do know that they was paying 20, 20 or $25 to cut the line. And I think that's crazy. It's never that important when the club is about to close. But because of that traffic, we couldn't get there in time, nobody. But that line was hella long, but it was just like, the traffic ain't that bad, y'all. Stop using that as an excuse. Seriously. time I don't live there so I really don't know what the fuck I'm talking about so yeah then there's that <laughs> to get my hair a good blow dry before I straighten it because it kind of gets it straight. You see it's straighter than what I started. So. so then we went to the club. That was really fun. Like except it was like a white people club. So they wasn't really playing any like trap music. Like they weren't playing nothing that I wanted to listen to. That I could get jiggy with. No, but they wasn't, so I was just like, uh, I hate clubs like that. But I really, then again, I listen to all gangster rap. Gangster music, trap music, so. But they starting to play some club, some songs, some good songs in the club, but I don't be in a club in my city, because, no. Nope. I don't want to see the same. I, I don't like nobody from Kansas City, bro. I fucking hate it here. Hate the people here. So that's that's my dilemma with trying to have fun and celebrate and do shit. I don't have friends. So that's what made my whole birthday like shitty. And that's why I'm here telling you guys. It was fucking shitty. But it was bittersweet because I was in California. I experienced the trip on my own. I have family members that took me in. And I have gratitude towards that. Don't get me wrong. I have gratitude towards that. But besides that, when I'm talking about my personal life, my friendships, my relationships, my love life is shitty. It, it it was fucking shitty. Like, what the fuck? I'm not, I'm out here like doing what y'all want me to do, not doing what I want to do. <laughs> but was well, grateful for them taking me in. But it's just like you know, it's hard to be grateful when it's like a background story behind why it is that's you even in that situation. So. I didn't, and then I didn't even get to go to the Nipsey Monument like I fucking intended on. My sole purpose of going to California was to go to the Nipsey Monument. And it was already closed. But I'm like, it don't matter. Like, people were still taking pictures to this day. Even when I upload this video, they're still taking pictures over there. And nobody wanted to take me to that. So I'm just like, why? Why, why did y'all agree? If y'all was not, you know, never again. Just never, never the fuck again, okay? Never again. Because I just, I don't understand, like, why even agree if I can't do anything I want to do. Go anywhere I want to go. 
So, and that was the only that was the only thing I wanted to do was go to the I, I sort of got. And it wasn't to get my picture to post on Instagram. It was to really be there in that moment, like. Sweet. And that was a bitter fucking sweet moment. Because it was like, damn, I'm in California. But I'm not enjoying myself like I want to. You know? And how could, how could I? I had a mental breakdown before I even came out there. Um, and then I had people take me in for... And it was just pathetic. It's fucking pathetic. So I just really hope that one day I can really travel and... I turned this off. Now it's cold. Now I gotta turn it back on. But I'm done with the dry. So I'm gonna put it in my hot cone. I guess I could put some clothes on one more. Then you can see it. Oh, I hate when I get hair all over me. You don't have oil on me. That is my 24th birthday in California. Oh, excuse me, my 23rd birthday in California. My 24th was spent here. So if you want to hear that story, comment down below. They're so easy to put on. I'm fucking struggling. My life is a struggle. I don't know why. But um, my 24th birthday, that's that's a pretty wild fucking story. It's more excitement to that one for sure. So, like for sure. That was my Jordan year. It was ass. How about though? Low key on you hoes. No, I'm kidding. My 24th copy year, that was ass. So I'm hoping my 25th is my all-star year because, yo, it got to come correct because this shit just been coming in all types of wrong my whole life. My whole life. It done did me wrong. I just ripped the tag off of these shirts I'm about to put on from Ross. 
$6.99 Love Street. Yellow. I love, I got every color. Pink, green, blue. And then I went back for, and they had the color I originally was looking for. You already know, you already know it. New. No, that's period. But they had all these other pastel colors. I love pastel colors. They just look so good on my skin color. My skin tone. Um. So yeah, I'm about to. That's my 24th, y'all. I mean, my 23rd birthday story. I know it was like really ass, and it just sounds like I'm complaining, but it really was kind of ass. I had a good time with the people, with my cousin and her girlfriend, and my auntie. But on the back burner, that shit was ass for me. Like I, it was just, you know, it's not what you, you know, when it ain't right, it's just not fucking right. And I'm not saying that that was wrong, but it just wasn't right for me. And yo, I gotta dry this longer, so I'm gonna do that. And when I do that, I'm about to go um, back to Best Buy to get um, an Echo Dot Alexa. Because I really want one because y'all seen that speaker I had. So I really want an Alexa because I was trying to actually plan on going on this little vacation trip I need because I really need to take time to myself. Like I just, I really need it. I can't wait around on other people. And I packed this whole suitcase, y'all, because I'll be ready to go. Like I'm ready to get the fuck ASAP out of fucking Kansas City for good, permanently. It's so annoying. So, I'm trying to plan this trip to the Lake of the Ozarks. And I got so excited. And then I actually start booking every fucking day that's sold out. Every weekend day. And I don't mean just Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like, every day besides the two days I work is sold out. I said, what the fuck? I can't. I can't take it so yeah i don't know and it's it's really gonna make me mad because i'm now thinking like damn that everybody has prepared themselves for the summer and has booked every flight every room every fucking activity and there's nothing left for me even if i wanted to go even if i want it even if i want it's not it's not gonna it's not never gonna work for me so yeah i'm still gonna get this echo dot because it's cute and i want it and because i want to talk to alexa and tell her to my life stuff <laughs> and because i want a smaller speaker that i could carry with me like if i was to do something with my life whatever um i was gonna order it on amazon but i need to fix that it's just fucking pissing me off let me just put this back on it Purchase something off of Amazon because I needed that case, so I bought my case off of Amazon since they didn't have it at Best Buy. But, um, then I bought a tripod because I have a ring light, but it's the ring light like the ring light tripod, and the ring light is attached to it, and I'm not carrying that thing with me nowhere. So, if I'm outside, so I need a regular long, tri long tripod. I already have one right here, but it's like a mini one for like at home, but I need one like on the go. So I can take pictures of myself because I already know the struggles of trying to be an influencer, baby, because I'm always alone, I don't have no help. But it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep pushing, period. I'm gonna do what it do, figure it out. Cause that's what I do, I'm good at it. You know what I'm saying? I, I be uh, digging myself out of holes. Yeah, yeah. God made me like this, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, God. God made me like, God made me like this, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he made me like this, I ain't nobody built like this. 
and nobody do like this so it is what it is everything is happening for a reason um hopefully one day i have the friendships that i um pray for that ass because I'm, I'm i think i'm well deserving of a real genuine relationship i think i'm very deserving of that so um without that without further ado i'm about to start this day so i can give y'all some more content you know that good that yum yum <laughs> But um, that sound fire right now. Oh my God, some Japanese steakhouse. Wow, I have not had that in like so long. Wow. Mm, that sounds so good right now, wow. And I wanted some fish, uh, but I, I wanted some Jamaican. And then I woke up like, I want some fish. <laughs> and now I'm thinking about Japanese steakhouse because i want some steak and potatoes yo <laughs> i could eat though i really just be wanting to eat and then some days i don't be wanting to eat Ooh, my lips so yes i need to go to best buy give me an echo because i didn't want to order it on amazon because you just can't order everything on amazon and expect for it to be handled properly with care and so, like, you know, for instance, like, I would never order, like, unless it was really expensive luxury and you know they're going to handle it with care. I would not order, like, perfume online because it's glass and people just be throwing shit. And I'm not paying for nothing to be delivered to me broken. So, yeah. I put in my order for my tripod and my Air AirPod. I mean, my Apple. Is it AirPod? No. AirPad. AirPad case. Um, and then I'm getting this Echo Dot because I just want it. And then I need to go to Victoria's Secret to get some panties because all my panties are now period panties. So now I need new panties. It's cool. It's whatever. You know, there's nothing wrong with having a fresh pair of panties. So this video, I've made this story 42 minutes long and y'all ain't really watched me get ready. I mean, I got this song, and I'm chilling. I would do a da daily vlog with me, but I'm only running a couple errands, you guys. I'm not doing too much. And then I got some other things to do. So, yeah. I look so cute, sweet, and innocent. All right. <laughs> bye thank you for watching i hope you made it this far to, to the end of my video so make sure you like comment and subscribe Feel real good in every who pull up to your nigga who looking real pretty pull up to your nigga city looking real pretty looking real pretty looking real pretty. spoil me now he come back ass getting fat i know he want it back uh, 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 uh. okay now cut cut it <laughs> As you can see, I am a walking angel, but a spoiled brat. So subscribe to my channel if you want to join the pack. <laughs> nah, but for real. See you in the next video. Much love. Cheers. <laughs>